All right, guys. So welcome to another video, and we are talking about Rafael in or Rafael K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro. And this is one of my favorite ROMs across all the three devices because they, as a team, are doing a universally good job. I've used this ROM on almost all the three phones, and I have been pleasantly surprised. And uh, I wanted to make sure that each device has an install guide for this particular ROM. Yes, my friends, we are talking about Dub Fest, and we're going to install it and have a quick look. Maybe later we will do a review on this as well. But before we get into the details, we have a giveaway going on. So if you want to stand a chance to win amazing PhoneOps gears cases, check the link in the description and participate. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to PhoneOps. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. So let's see what we have here. We have Dubfest Official Rafael OSS Get Dubbed. Dubfest Shinju is the name, Android 12 L of course, 27th of April 2022. Now if we look at the change log over here, we do have these source change log, which is very, very long, but the device change log says, fixed status bar padding, updated graphics blobs from this particular version, updated Soviet star, the superstar is here. Soviet kernel means great performance. Fixed Google Photos, unlimited spoofing. So that's interesting. Now the ROM comes with GApps variant only based on OSS vendor and Soviet star kernel. Use Android R firmware of your device region. Please use one of the recoveries provided above. Otherwise your device will be stuck in fast boot. Now, there are things that you need to take care of, of course. And if you're a K20 Pro user, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure by now you are an expert on how to flash ROMs, but there are always newbies, right? And it's good to always have a step-by-step -step guide. So that's what we are going to do today. Now, if you're coming from AOSP or MIUI, these steps are common. You need to make sure that all your data is backed up because your data will be erased. You need to make sure you have more than 50% battery. You need to have an unlocked bootloader with a custom TWRP, the one recommended in that post installed, okay? You need to have the firmware and the ROM. Those are the only two files you'll need. Majisk and DFE is completely up to you. It is absolutely optional is what I can say, right? Now, if you're coming from MIUI, you need to make sure you've re removed your MI account and rebooted the device once. Also, irrespective of what ROM you are on currently, make sure you remove your Google account, you remove your face unlock, fingerprint unlock and everything, all the security and reboot the device once. Now, once you've taken care of all of these things, we are good to go. I have my ROM copied on a pen drive as always. So we will reboot into TWRP to flash this beautiful ROM. So go to advanced, go to recovery and wait for it to boot to recovery. If you are on MI UI, press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the MI logo and then let it go. Then you'll enter TWRP, right? Now, as you can see, I'm using one of the recommended Orange Fox recoveries. So we'll go to wipe. Dalvik cache system vendor data. Don't wipe internal storage, right? Because we will do a format data towards the end. So swipe to wipe. Okay, now go to this and we will select OTG because our files are there. The first thing that we will need is the Raphael or Raphael in firmware of Android 11. We will select add to queue and then we will look for dub fest. This is the one. Swipe to confirm flash. Now this of course is a flash including G app. So it'll at least take 45 seconds to a couple of minutes. So please be patient while that happens. Let's wait for the ROM to be flashed. All right, now, as you can see, everything has been wiped. So we will wipe caches over here. Go to the main screen again, go to wipe, select format data and type in yes and select the tick mark. Okay, now we are good to go. So select reboot system. Now the first boot should take around 30 seconds to a minute at the most because these custom ROMs are really, really quick and it will not take more than one to two minutes at the max. It won't even take that. But look at this beautiful boot animation with Android 12 L. They've got a new boot animation and it looks beautiful, Dubfest. Let's wait for the setup to be skipped and then we will see what this ROM has to offer. All right, so just like that, we are on the home screen and there is something that I would like to share over here. While I was trying to set up this device, uh, the fluctuation in auto brightness was all over the place. I really don't know why that was the case, but uh, yeah, it was going all the way so low 
that I was not able to see what exactly is happening on the screen. Of course, part of the reason is this huge light over here. But uh, yeah, that might not be a bug, but something was going on. And the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will see that it is absolutely bloatware free to the point wherein the camera application is not even Gcam. It's a very, very basic camera application. I have, you know, enabled uh, the fingerprint scanner. So let's see how that works. So far, it's working fine. To the left, of course, you have Google Feed. I've not signed into the Google account. So let's quickly go to settings here, about phone. Let's go to Android version. You have the Dubfest details over here, April security patch, Soviet star kernel. Now, of course, the smoothness and the fluidity at this point, it doesn't really make any sense to judge this ROM because you have to give at least 24 hours for the ROM to settle down. And that's what we are going to do. But as you can see, Dub space is present with all the customizations that you can ask for. And it's already feeling fluid. So it's going to be a very, very exciting journey to review this particular ROM. Let me know in the comment section if you're excited for the complete review of the latest Dubfest update for the Redmi K20 Pro. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.